I'm Gary Freeman. I'm Lynn. Get ready, because we're flipping Cheyenne. Hi, this is Gary Freeman and Lynn, and this is another edition of Flipping Cheyenne. And man, we find ourselves with a, another great find here in the capital city. So tell us about it. So this one actually we got from another flipper. And you know, it does look easy on TV. You get all dressed up and you just walk through a house a couple of times and it's done. But in reality, it's not quite that easy. So he got started, got about halfway done and said, whoa, that's enough for me. So we bought it from him in about a 50% completion. So I think two big challenges, one are stairs. Um, you kind of had to slide sideways down the stairs, which is not great. So we'll have to figure out something to do for the stairs. And then adding the second bathroom, um, not a overcomable challenge, but it is a challenge. So we always have a wish list of what we hope we can get done in a house after we do the must-haves. Um, and this, in this must-have is adding a bathroom downstairs, new windows downstairs, the upstairs has new windows, but sadly it didn't make it to the basement. So. You know, they say that kitchens and bathrooms sell a house, and so if you're going to put your money into a house, those are the rooms that you really want to feature and create a sizzle factor. And this bathroom really doesn't have a sizzle factor, so our hope is there's enough money to make it that way. So. Sadly, the the flipper that bought the house hired somebody to do the siding. They thought they should only do the front and then they left taking the siding and his money with them. So we'll probably continue with that same siding on the, we're just thinking all the sides of the house should be sided. Yeah, if we were in Hollywood, like Holly, uh, like uh, you know Universal Studios, the facade or the front of the house would be just fine. Leave it like that. But not when you're trying to sell a house in Cheyenne. So, so now we're in the kitchen and Lynn, we've noticed that uh, when they tried to put the cabinet in here, the average refrigerator is what, 33 inches wide? And we got a little problem here, don't we? Yeah, the space isn't quite 33 inches wide. Um, so they make smaller refrigerators, but they're special order and they're more expensive. So cabinets aren't really difficult to do, but people like Lowe's and Home Depot, they have great cabinet departments, so if you take your measurements in there, they will lay it all out for you. So even a do-it-yourselfer can put the cabinets up, um, but you just have to make sure that you get the layout right from the beginning, or else you end up with a situation like this. So, short All right, and here we are in the finished kitchen, and this was one of the places, Lynn, that we had some problems with because... In this case, it was off uh, just enough that this had to be a special order because it wasn't... Um, the standard size refrigerator. So two things, that's inconvenient and they're way more expensive. They're small. All right, here we are in the living room. Beautiful windows behind us and all around us, Lynn. Yeah, it's a great light in here, um, opening up the two rooms to create a bigger kind of great space is really nice in this house. The bedroom worked out very, very well. and There were a lot of challenges in this house, um, which you wouldn't think because we really got it halfway done. So it's probably one we should have sailed through, but the uh, carpenter that worked on this house said it was his worst house he's ever worked on. Nothing was straight. He had to cut down all the doors. So he was really ready to get, get out of this house. And the outside um, was old siding that had completely rotted away. So putting the new siding on the front completely changed the look of the house. I would say that not knowing everything that went into it, it'd be easy for someone to fall in love with this house. Now, the bathroom upstairs, we have just one sink. That's all we could do on this one. So this is a Jack and Jill bathroom, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but in these older houses, this was built in 1924. There are things that you can update and there are things you just have to live with. We're here in the bathroom, in the basement, finished out very nice. It's a big bathroom, so we put two vanities in here, um, storage over here if the people want that, the shower's right here, the mechanical room. So right, and something to think about nowadays, a lot of families are looking for two sinks. We couldn't get away with that upstairs, but we definitely made up for it downstairs. If there's two bedrooms on the floor, we always try and put in two vanities because it is just something buyers demand these days. All right, here we are in another finished bedroom. So I would say when the old man starts acting up, he could sleep down here, right? With some more space for ukuleles. All right, mm -hmm. yes, we have some ukulele display area. Yeah, yes. so it, 
huge collection could just expand right into here. Right. Well, so uh, same thing, these two bedrooms I don't think had probably been used as bedrooms for years. They were designed to be bedrooms, but um, the whole basement was really unusable when we got it. So the great thing about this is you take a non-functioning house and you make it a viable part of the neighborhood again, and we did that here. So. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this edition of Flip and Cheyenne. Join us for the next one when we'll talk with Lynn with Lynn Buys Houses right here. Right here.